My condition, Trichur Carlin syndrome, has affected me on so many different levels. To get the job I want, or the opportunities, or the relationship, it's not easy, and you can just easily sit home, feel sorry for yourself, or go out there and make the best for what you have. And that's what I did. I was born with a syndrome called Trucher Collins syndrome. It is a genetic disorder that affects the bone growth to the face. I've had nearly 100 surgeries since the day I was born. I had surgeries to help me breathe, to hear, to eat better. This one here, I think I was in first or second grade. I had a trach and I was embarrassed. I was ashamed of it. So I would often wear turtlenecks uh, covering my trach. I did not like high school. There were some kids out there that did not include me. They excluded me. When I moved to New York City, I dealt with discrimination. People just would say what they want to say. There were a lot of hateful words thrown at me. Um, I think I had one person um, said to me, your face is messed up. I was not confident. My condition has affected me on so many different levels. Future Collins syndrome has affected me to get the job I want, or to get the opportunities I want, or to get the relationship I want. It's not easy, and you can just easily sit home, feel sorry for yourself, or go out there and make the best for what you have. And that's what I did. I think I'm a lot more confident now than I was before. When I was a little girl, about nine years old, I always wanted to be an actress, to be in front of the camera. One day, I met a man at my previous job, and he saw me and he said to me, you know, I think you're beautiful, I want to help you. He had his own film company. Something told me to go for the audition, sat in front of the casting director, and she looks at me and she says, you have that spark. You're, you're special, you're going to go far. And that's how the, my acting career started. Hey. Hey, nice What's to see you. Going on? Hi. All right, great. Allison, this is yours. Thank you. Allison and I have been friends for eight years. I actually, too, have a craniofacial condition, so I think it's very uh -huh. special for both of us, and we've just built a friendship from that. I love it. It's good, huh? I love that place. So I'm a little bit nervous. There's an audition coming up. I'm going to play Camilla, and you're going to play Kate. So let's just do the first round reading the lines. Acting can be very therapeutic. You learn a lot about yourself as an actor and as a person. What is going on? I think I set a good example. I feel like I've broken down some barriers. But for me, I believe that talent goes a long way. It's so important to work hard just like everyone else. What's wrong? My latest film is called Happy Face. This script is wild. <laughs> so I got an email from the director of Happy Face, and I learned that I was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in Film at the Canadian Screen Awards. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so exciting. I, was, I know how hard you worked, so. Yeah, I was completely shocked. I was not even expecting it. It's nice to be recognized for that. With everything that she does through acting, I really admire her for that. She helps me when I'm feeling not confident about myself. She's, you know, going after what she wants, the thing that makes her the most happy. It's really inspiring. Sometimes I do notice people staring, but I don't think it's severe. It's interesting how people can judge someone based off of how they look 
without knowing them who they are. I feel like I am more confident. I accept myself a lot more than before. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but does everyone accept themselves 100%? There's no rules to what beauty is. Beauty to me is something that's inside of you that comes out. That's beauty.